here uh, in this video is a uh, Brooks Sonic 9 inch cathode ray tube television uh, v VCR uh, combo. On the back, yeah, the, the, the model number is a bit ripped off, but it was manufactured in August of 1998. It's got AV ports, you only access your remote on the back. Now, I do have a converter box which is uh, powered by a battery power. However, I can't get this TV to run on a battery pack. It just doesn't work that way. It can only work with an adapter. But with this TV, if I could open the uh, back of this TV, I will at least show you the rewind speed and the play speed as I can't access the fast forward part since I don't have the remote for this. So let's just start. One channel that at least works. Call one eight hundred nine zero one six three nine three or go to whiteblock.com. Yeah, you can see the picture is really good for a nine inch uh, TV. The TV at least uh, still works great. That's just one thing I can say. The picture is great. At first, there was a problem with the coloring on the picture, but now there isn't much of a problem. So now I'm going to put a tape in. This is just a uh, random copy I have of Titanic. I'm not going to show too much of the movie due to uh, copyright. I'm just going to test it out. I wish I could put a light on this, but I can't. The only time I could rewind this is when this goes to the very uh, end of the tape. When this, uh, when the VCR part of the TV that goes to the very end of the tape. Now I'll be showing the inside of this TV. I don't recommend you do this unless you are very careful and you are able to um, get everything uh, like um, done without you know, electrocuting yourself and such like that. I will possibly uh, show a picture of what it kind of looks inside and I can't be able to open the whole thing. But here's also a view of what the mechanism will look like. See there? I'll have to use a different camera to have the light turn on on that. Or maybe have a flashlight shine to that. Which I might probably get a flashlight for that when I have a tape inside since I won't be able to get the back cover off. Alright, so I will do just that. There's the play mechanism in action. And like I said, I'll, I can't be able to open the back cover, so this is the best you can see of that plane for a while. This should be uh, almost close to the end of the tape. Since I don't, like I said before, since I don't have the remote for this, I am going to have to uh, uh, have this played to the end of the tape and then this will rewind all the way by itself. So I can't 
demonstrate the fast forward on this TV VCR combo. All right, now the tape is being rewound, rewind, rewinded. Tape is now going into rewind mode on the VCR. The VCR go, is going into rewind mode. That's what I meant to say, VCR is going into rewind mode. Yeah, this does stop, but there's no on-screen display lets you know when this stops. And it automatically ejects. So it does, there's no on-screen display that lets you know where it stops automatically uh, or, or, or completely ejects. So now for my overall thoughts on this um, Worksonic. It's all right for a TV VCR combo. In fact, I'd give it a seven and a half out of uh, 10. It's not it's not very uh, cheap although I got it for $15. It's a 9 it's a 9 inch TV of course and this is the VCR and what it looks like now. As you can see the mechanism is the same and but it's not similar mechanism to this other Brooksonic video cassette player I reviewed the last time. So yeah. Could possibly be the same company for this 1998 uh, TV VCR combo. Anyways, that should that should be all for my review. So sorry uh, for the lack of features, like not being able to use the fast forward function and such, since I don't have the remote. But anyways, that's about all. I'm out.